Welcome to Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium and the regular season finale against the New Orleans Saints. This is the Atlanta Falcons franchise and I'm your host, Husker Eurocat. Before we get going with today's action, let's go to Eurocat Baby with some significant news. With the way that the NFC South is jammed up right now, the Falcons have to win today's game if they want to be assured of a playoff spot. That task just got a little easier for them considering that the number one quarterback for the Saints this season, Jameis Winston, has suffered a knee cartilage tear and will be out for the next three weeks. And should the Saints move on to the playoffs, they'll have to win without him at the controls. That means the Saints will be led by backup Trevor Simeon. In their first game, Winston was injured as well, but Gardner Minshew was with the team as a backup and has now been traded to the Eagles. The Falcons need to take advantage of this by bringing extra pressure on Simeon, since he's shown an inability to make good decisions when the pressure starts mounting. Another very big development is that due to Atlanta's massive injury problems, they've had to get some help. They found out that halfback Matt Breida was released from the Bills organization after last week's game, and it didn't take long for the Falcons to sign him to their roster. The way it stands, he'll be the number one halfback going into this game. Let's hope that he's learned in a hurry how this offense operates. Atlanta has also found the speedy wide receiver John Ross in free agency and signed him to their roster. So in an effort to utilize that outstanding speed, it'll be interesting where they plan on using him. All in all, it should be fascinating to see how the Falcons operate with these changes and the return of Matt Ryan to the offensive lineup. Wow, that's going to change the dynamics of this game a quite a bit. Let's hope that both Rita and Ross can have a positive impact on this game. As Eurocat Baby mentioned, we have the return of Matt Ryan this week, and I'm sure that he's hoping for a big game to finish out the regular season. Let's find out if the changes help or hurt the Falcons' chances today as we take you to the action between the Falcons and the Saints here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Braxton Berrios is deep for Atlanta, and Will Lutz gets us underway here in Atlanta. He takes a knee and it comes out to the 25 yard line. Matt Ryan jogging out onto the field, finally in charge of this crew. And from the shotgun, back to pass, and he throws. His first pass back is a completion. Geronimo Allison has the first down out at the 35. Under center this time. Ryan turns and gives the ball off to Matt Breida, and he has a nine-yard pickup. It just almost breaks the plane of the sticks, and this time it is a first down. Out of bounds at the 47-yard line inside Saints territory, and Bradley Roby is being escorted to the locker room, and we'll have to find out what that injury is all about. Ryan pitches back. Breida takes it inside the 45. And now for a third and seven out of the shotgun. Ryan throws complete. Down to the 29 is John Ross with his first catch as a Falcon. Now out of the shotgun, it's intercepted. C.J. Gardner-Johnson doesn't look like he has anybody in front of him, and he doesn't. He is gone the distance. 74 yards all the way to the house. Well, that wasn't Matt Ryan's best effort. Not even coming close to a completion. Gardner-Johnson jumps in front of the path of the football, and that is... As they say, all she wrote. So the Falcons back on the field. It's seven to nothing Saints. 
Ryan throws in. It is complete to Kelvin Ridley at the 38-yard line. First and 10. Ball is handed off to Breida, and he gets out past the 40-yard line for a five-yard gain. The Saints in a double high look. Ryan throws short. Love makes the catch and is out of bounds at the 46-4 first down. Now on second and nine. The throw complete. Breida makes the grab at the 44 of the Saints. That brings up third and two. Give the ball to J.B. and Hawkins. He has the first down and is out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Now with the wide receiver split high and low. Back to pass. Ryan goes over the middle and the, draws a flag. And it's defensive pass interference against Quan Alexander. And that gives the Falcons a first down at the 22. Breida takes it over the right side. Gets tackled at the 20. Left guard Jonah Jackson is down, but is on the sideline. Looks to be okay. Second and seven. The pass goes out to the right side to Breida, and he is tackled at the 17. Third and five. Ryan. Pass coming up, and that one is complete, although there's a flag on the play. Wow, roughing the passer, and that gives the Falcons a first down anyway. All the way to the 11-yard line. First and goal. Bryce Love tries to take it up the middle, gets to the four. So now on third and goal. Ryan alone in the backfield throws, and this one is out the back of the end zone. Youngway Koo comes on for a 21-yard field goal. It's up and good. And Atlanta is on the board. 7-3, Saints. After a three and out from the Saints. Ryan with the play action pass, and it's complete out to Ross. He has a first down inside New Orleans territory at the 44. Ross already having a good impact on this football game. And up the middle goes Brita and finally tackled inside the 40. Second and three. The play action pass. JV and Hawkins is all alone. And Ryan didn't lead him in the right direction and he goes out of bounds so third and inches and Brita picks it up all the way down to the 28 back to pass over the middle Ridley makes the grab at the 21 and now on second and two they gave him some real good forward progress. Ross catches the first down at the 15. That brings us to the end of quarter number one with your score seven to three, New Orleans. Now, with another play action pass, it's caught out of the backfield by Breda and he gets down to the one. And that's Marcus Davenport down for the Saints. Being escorted back to the locker room, so that makes two players that we need to find out what the injury status is. Ryan standing tall in the pocket, throws to the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Geronimo Allison. He is one of the players that the general manager made a recommendation earlier in the season on and boy, has he had an outstanding impact on this team for the rest of the season. That will put the Falcons in the lead, 10 to seven here in the second quarter. Now after a false start, 
Simeon throws complete in a first down to Deontay Harris. That gets him out of a hole and all the way out to the 31. Now the handoff goes to Kamara and he has a first down out to the 41 yard line. I'm gonna give him forward progress to the 42. Mark Ingram gets the call on this play and he gets the first down. We're very near the first down marker anyway. They're gonna give him the first down. And now all of a sudden they're at the 46 and it's intercepted. Going back the other way is Kendall Sheffield and it's a touchdown. 47 yards, and with the extra point, the Falcons will take a 10-point lead. Simeon throws just like Ryan did earlier, and it's an interception that goes all the way for pick six. Now from the 22, Simeon goes back and he is taken down, sacked by Derek Barnett, and Mark Ingram is down. And being escorted back to the locker room, this has been a tough first half for the New Orleans Saints. Simeon back to pass, throws out of bounds, incomplete, but after a Falcon three and out, it is Saints ball again. Inside the 10 at the eight, it's second and eight. And only getting to the nine is Kamara. Standing at the goal line, throw and complete to the 21 for a first down. It's Adam Troutman with the grab. Simeon back again and D goes down in the arms of Dante Fowler. After kind of a dry spell after that 49er game, he has now 10 sacks on the season. That is complete, a first down up the seam to Michael Thomas, taking it out to the 33. Now, the ball is, oh, it's not handed off. It's a play action pass completed. Nick Vanette caught the ball, fell down, and got back up because he hadn't been touched and made a nice gain. Now on second and seven, it's out to Vanette again. He has the first down. I might add that it was second and seven because of a false start penalty. Kamara takes it into Falcon territory. Teron Armstead down for the Saints, but on the sideline, he is working out some kinks and should be back in. Now the shotgun, Simeon. Back to pass, throws over the middle, complete to Thomas to the 40-yard line. That brings up third and three. Simeon looking and finally throwing it underneath to Kamara and he does not get the first down. But the Saints are going for it on fourth down and in comes Eric Harris on a safety blitz getting to Simeon so that he can't complete the pass. And the Falcons take over. Third and five, and that is completed to Ridley for a first down. Brings us to the two minute warning with the Falcons on top 17 to seven. Now on third and seven, back to pass. Ryan can't find anybody and finally goes down backpedaling profusely to his own 40 yard line. And that punt is downed at the five. Oh my, 
And the Saints just decide to pack it in and go to the locker room at halftime. 17 to seven, the Falcons have the lead. Now with a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat Baby. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the game in a moment. This final week of the regular season brings with it games that have a significant impact on the playoff picture. First, we have the Panthers at the Buccaneers and Tampa Bay is being dominated in this one. Could there be a new division leader as a result if Tom Brady can't bring them back? The other game is the battle between Dallas and Philadelphia for the NFC East division title. This is a tight one with each team taking different offensive approaches today. The Eagles are up by a point, but can they hold on to that lead? Here in Atlanta, it's been a seesaw battle thus far. The Falcons lead the game by 10, but the key is holding on to that lead. Each team is missing some key talent for this game. So what adjustments will each team make with that in mind? Stay tuned to find out because we'll be right back. Welcome back to Atlanta, everyone. The Falcons were able to stop the Saints after that first drive pick six allowed New Orleans to jump out to a seven to nothing lead. Atlanta now leads 17 to seven and the Saints have points to make up. Can they do it, or will the Falcons extend their lead to take control of the game? Let's find out. New Orleans takes the opening kickoff here in the second half. Simeon gives it to Kamara. Up the middle he goes to the 32. Make that almost the 33. So it's second and three. The pass on its way and completed to Kamara out of bounds at the 36. Simeon in the shotgun. They try a quarterback option and it is stopped by Tremaine Edmonds. So on second and 12, Simeon throws complete to Thomas, but only a one yard pickup. That means third and 11. And the pass is broken up. Kendall Sheffield on the coverage, knocks the ball away. Now from the 20 yard line, the ball given to Breda and he gets taken down in the backfield and injury number two for Jonah Jackson. He is headed to the locker room. By the way, the Saints have lost Marcus Davenport and Bradley Roby to abdominal tears, and they're going to be out for a number of weeks. So the Saints are going to have to do without their talents. Now on second and nine. Ryan back to pass, throws short. And Brita gets to the 48-yard line, third and four coming up. Ryan throws to a wide open Ridley, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. What a blown assignment by cornerback Paulson Adebo. Williams can't get back there fast enough and Calvin Ridley goes all the way to the end zone. 24 to seven, the Falcons taking control of this game. Simeon over the middle, completes it, and wow, Marquez Callaway got popped at the end of that pass. He hangs on though for a seven yard pickup. Third and three all alone is Nick Vanette taking it out to the 46 yard line for a first down. A 17 yard gain on the pass play. Now on second and nine, Simeon over the middle, short to Kamara, and they pick up another first down to the 41. Fullback Adam Prentice is in the backfield, 
And he gets the ball, carries it all the way down to the 32. Second and one. Kamara back in there. Pass play. And it is complete to Thomas inside the 15. And a first down for the Saints. Kamara the lone setback. And he gets the ball. Carries it inside the five. Did they give him the first down? No, it's third and inches. And in there is Adam Prentice. And he gets stuffed. Back up strong safety. Sean Williams gets to him in the backfield. And that brings on Will Lutz for a 21-yard field goal. And it's up and good. That makes the score 24 to 10, and the Saints still have a lot of work to do. Ryan back to pass, and it is complete to Ross out at the 43-yard line, giving the Falcons a first down. The handoff going to Breda, and he gets to midfield before he's stopped. Third and two. The pass underneath to Allison, and it's a first down to the 42-yard line. The Falcons are on the move again. Back to pass, throwing long, and gets complete to John Ross inside the 15-yard line. A 30-yard reception, and it seems that the Falcons really made a good decision when they got John Ross on the roster. The pass out short to Breda. He makes a nice spin move and has the first down. No. They're going to say a nine-yard pickup. It's second and one. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Josh Oliver. His first career touchdown catch. And he's done it as a Falcon. Okay, not as glorious as it could be, but anyway, Josh Oliver, a first touchdown career catch is a glorious thing. Prentice makes his way out to the 29, and that brings us to the end of the third quarter with your score 31 to 10, Falcons. Simeon with a play action pass over the middle. Complete 20 yards to Harris. And that gives them the ball at the 49. Third and 10. Simeon over the middle. Cannot connect. Adam Troutman was his intended target. And it's fourth and 10. Going for it and making the play is Troutman all the way down to the 28-yard line. And now we have another third and 10. Simeon has it knocked away by Duran Harmon. Fourth and 10. The Saints have to make something happen. And this is intercepted. Going back the other way, Duran Harmon looks like he won't. Well, wow. That is a fast fullback. Prentice catches up with him, but not before Harmon gets to the 25-yard line. Now on second and 11. Allison in motion. Brita gets the ball, and he's to the 22. Make that the 23. They're going to spot the ball. Third and seven. And that is a first down to Calvin Ridley at the 15-yard line. Now on second and 11. Javian Hawkins dances his way inside the 10. That brings up third and three. Out of the shotgun. The play action pass. And Ryan has all day, but can't find an open receiver. This is going to be 
A 24-yard kick by Youngway Koo, and it is good. 34-10. And the Saints from the 25-yard line. This is complete. Kamara makes a diving catch at the marker, but does not get the first down. And this time, Prentice catches the first down pass out of the backfield. Now from the 43. The pass complete to Troutman and out of bounds at the 48. Gives him a five yard pickup. Simeon throws over the middle, complete to Troutman for the first down to the 44. And I would expect a lot of passing going on. Oh, that is broken. He just caught. Harris makes an outstanding catch off the ricochet. And that gives the Saints another first down at the 29 after a false start penalty. Simeon throws complete to the 20 yard line. Caught by Troutman just shy of the sticks. So third and one. The pass complete over the middle to Callaway. And that gives the Saints a first and goal. Now second down. Prentice bulls his way forward and into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints racking up a lot of yardage on the ground with that guy in the backfield. Pretty big frame at six foot, 245 pounds. And he used all of it to get into the end zone right there. That brings on the two point conversion from the Saints. And again, they give it to Prentice and he makes it into the end zone, giving the Saints an eight point scoring drive and now the score is 34 to 18. After a Falcon three and out, Trevor Simeon has them at their own 28, unloads the ball and it's intercepted. Richie Grant is taking it all the way back. Touchdown, Falcons. I would suspect that Trevor Simeon is trying to fit it into areas where he probably shouldn't at this point in the ball game. Throwing it long, he has it intercepted yet again. Isaiah Oliver makes the grab. That will give the Falcons the ball at their 40 yard line of the Saints with a 23 point lead. And just over three minutes left in the football game. JV and Hawkins takes it up the middle for a seven yard gain. And they give it to him again, up the middle, first down inside the 30 yard line. And more importantly, we've reached the two minute warning. The Falcons in the eye, obviously trying to run out the clock. And they give it to Hawkins again. He makes it to the 22. And that is the end of your football game. 41 to 18 is your score here in Atlanta. Although the Saints jumped out to a 7-0 lead, the Falcons dominated this game and showed that even though they're banged up a good bit, they can find a way to win. I can't help but feel that a clear statement was sent to the rest of the teams in the NFC South that Atlanta is a team that is willing to fight and fight hard. Matt Ryan had a very positive return to the field, completing 70% of his passes for 269 yards and three TDs. He did show a little rust was on the arm with that one pick, but when you compare that with the four interceptions that Simeon threw, well, <laughs> I think we can live with that. Matt Breida ran for 56 yards in his debut, 
but I just feel that he can only get better with time. Anyway, he outran Kamara, so that meant the defense was really doing their job in a forceful way. You could tell that Ryan was really having troubles going down the field and not saying that he didn't at times hitting Allison, Ross, and Ridley for a combined 200 plus yards, but he targeted Brita a lot out of the backfield. Just saying that it would have been nice to connect down the field a bit more often. Then again, you have to take what the defense is giving you. Although Tremaine Edmonds was your tackle leader for the game, what really stood out is how many times Simeon was forced into throwing off target and getting the ball picked off. Four interceptions total and two of those going to the house really showed that the D was really focused in on what needed to be done. This win means that not only do the Falcons win a playoff berth, but they win the NFC South title. The Buccaneers got manhandled earlier today, which means that they get to stay home for the wild card weekend. However, with all good things, it seems that a little bad may come with it. The opponent they face in the wild card round is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bucs are coming off a two-game skid and could be a dangerous opponent that's looking to move forward in the playoffs. Nevertheless, a playoff berth in the first season of being head coach and a division title to boot, Coach Gill has to be pleased with the way things have turned out after that 1-5 start to the season. Carolina has to travel to Green Bay. <laughs> Yikes! Glad the Falcons didn't have that as their first playoff game. Well, that's going to wrap things up for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Defensively, Atlanta played a very dominating game and four interceptions with two being pick sixes showed outstanding resilience in the face of of the injuries they're having to work through. The offense flourished under the leadership of Matt Ryan, putting 27 on the board themselves. The big question is, will Tom Brady and the Buccaneers come up with a way to leave Atlanta with a win and a ticket to the divisional round playoff games? Join us to find out when the Falcons play host to the Buccaneers. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>